you want to attend a DDS or DMD program from the US, but you are a trained dentist outside of US. If that's right, then stay tuned. This video will be for you. It will give you a lot of information to get you started in this process. Hi, I'm Dr. Mehik Jain and I was in your shoes a few years ago. Let me tell you this, this will be a rather tedious process and there is a lot of terminology attached to this process. So I want to give you a basic understanding of the concept first. Basically you are collecting some documents like your transcript, mark sheet, degrees which we will discuss and then give required exams, then apply to dental schools, wait for interviews and bench test which is a skill test on Typodont, then if everything falls into place then enjoy your acceptance. It is really as simple as that if I think retrospectively now. You must know that this process from the beginning to acceptance is going to take about 10 to 15 thousand dollars approximately and it from the beginning to the starting of the school would take a minimum of year to realistically a year and a half to complete. Now where is the money going? Money is going really everywhere. Money is going when you are collecting reports, when you are generating reports, when you are giving exams, when you are flying for the interviews and bench tests, preparing for the bench tests, then a chunk of money goes into acceptance uh, as well. I want to explain you why is it taking that long. Now before I do, let me explain you a term cap it because that will be used very often in this video and in many videos. CAPID is an online application portal where most schools offering DDS and DMD program participate in CAPID where they review your applications from. There are some schools which do not part of, take part in CAPID and you have to apply to them separately but those are very few which we will discuss later in next video. You need to know that CAPID opens every year in March and it closes in February of the consecutive year. Now let's address why is it taking this long, a year to year and a half. Now it opens in March, the schools then review your application over a period of many months. They call you for, in, uh, for bench tests and interviews which goes over the entire year and then you start your school the January or May, June of next year. So it is really taking a year like that and you need to take into account that you are prepping and studying before you are applying to CAPED which is realistically about three to six months on an average. One very important aspect in my opinion in all of this process that would help you is to stay organized, be quick and manage your time really really well. You need to be quick in this process. Now by quick I do not mean you go under prepared. You do not want to fail your exams even though there are multiple attempts you can make for the exams but you still do not want to fail in your exams and you want to submit a complete application and cap it. Be as quick as possible. Let me explain you by an illustration. As we know cap it opens in March. At this time you, you have the schools with different deadlines participating and all open to review your application. Let's say for example, you only apply in the mid of the year, let's say August. By this time, you are way past the deadlines of many other schools. So you lost a valuable opportunity to be seen by so many schools. Secondly, you want to take into account that everybody who's applying in CAPIT are already trained as dentists just like yourselves. They have taken same exams just like yourselves. So it is better to grab any opportunity, opportunity to be seen by as many schools as possible so that they can review your application versus somebody who is very prepared but they submit very late into the application cycle. So they have very less schools to have a chance to be called for interview and bench test. Let's talk about what type of exams you need. You need a TOEFL exam. TOEFL is a test of your English proficiency as a language. This exam tests you on your reading, writing, listening and speaking skills. You book your own exam through TOEFL ETS website 
and we'll discuss that later in our next video. Second exam is Integrated National Board Dental Examination or INBDE. It is an exam to test you on all the subjects that you've studied in your dental schools already. 56% of this exam is based to test you on your clinical knowledge, diagnosis, treatment planning, perio, pedo, endo, oral surgery, and all the clinical aspects of dentistry. 44% is based on testing you on your basic sciences like anatomy, physiology, biochemistry, dental material, um, pharmacology, and so forth. You are also tested on ethics, professionalism, and behavioral management. Now these exams are spread over two days. It is a total of 500 questions. Those are MCQ based. The second day is mostly your case based questions in which you are given medical history, dental history chart, your perio charting, uh, x-rays to help you come with the right answers. They are basically testing you how you think as a dentist in a certain situation rather than testing testing you on crammed knowledge. Again, you can book your own dates for this exam. So you know you are really prepared when you are giving this exam. This exam can only be given in US or Canada. You can have five attempts for these exams separated over a period of 90 days to book your second attempt. But I highly recommend that you prepare enough to pass in first attempt. And this is only a pass and fail exam. So anybody who scores over 75 percentile will be considered a pass. I get these type of questions a lot. How long do you need to study for exam? How difficult these are? So even though those are very simple questions, I understand these are very difficult to answer because they are very subjective in their nature. In my opinion, the process of application was harder than really studying for the exams. So you get an idea. Repeat, revise, recall is the saving mantra for these exams. Now let's go on to the sequence of application, which most of you are waiting for. First would be dent pin. Dent pin is a your dental identification number that is a unique number given only to you that you will use in all the steps in these in this whole application process you will also use this number later on in your life this is very easily obtainable by going on to ada.org and filling out a simple form we can fill this form together in our next video it is given instantaneously and it's free of cost now, second would be your ECE evaluation. ECE is a way to standardize your credentials in the way U.S. institutes understand. Dentists all over the world are graded differently in their institutions in different criteria. The way they are given marks are different. So, by getting this report, you will have your marks or grades graded and formulated into something called as GPA. And this GPA will also play an important role in your application. ECE report can be generated by filling a form at ece.org. This form we will fill together in our next video. The website will also tell you the requirements of requ the required documents that you need based on the country you graduated from. Now, after this, the third part would be taking the exam. For this, once you have your ECE and your dent pin, you go on to JCNDE, Joint Commission National Dental Examination website. You apply to get an eligibility letter. Here you also submit the fee. Once you get your eligibility letter, then you are able to go back to the same website and schedule your exam in the state of your residence in United States. At some point, you also want to give your TOEFL exam as well. Once you have your ECE, dent pin, results from TOEFL and your INBD, now you're ready to apply into CAPIT, which opens in March again. So when you apply in CAPIT, this will be a very long and lengthy application in which they want to know about you each and everything. This, this will take most of your time. 
on the CAPIT ADEA website, they tell you about the instructions, how you want to prepare for this application, what documents you need. You need additional things. You need letter of recommendations. You need three letter of recommendation and one of which should come from your dean to be on safe side because most of the schools would want that. And the two others, it would really be helpful to get it from the dentist whom you worked in your recent past. These letter of recommendations should be recent within a year uh, and more preferably within six months of your application. These are given electronically and you need to inform your evaluators to write you a letter beforehand so that they are prepared and you are not waiting on them to complete your application. Second is your statement of purpose. This is your opportunity to tell your story regarding why you joined dentistry, why you're so passionate about dentistry, why do you want to study further into US, why you deserve a chance, all of that. This is telling the school something more beyond your credentials and your diplomas. So take, make use of this. This is also very important. Now, once you submit this application, you wait. You wait for your interviews and bench tests. But by waiting, I do not mean that you waste your time. And you prepare, prepare, prepare for your bench test. Bench test is a skill test on typodont that you will take. Uh, some common exercises that schools ask are crown preps, amalgam class 2 preps, uh, bond and indirect restoration preps, some wax exercises. Some schools go even further, go on asking cast metal partial designs. They also might want you to restore teeth by um, using amalgam or composite. They might also want you to apply rubber dam. They will give you information when they call you for the bench tests. It is very advisable that you set up a home, little home setup so that you can prepare on your own. It will be very helpful to use an office as well and ask for a frequent critique on your preps. Critiquing your own prep, the ability to critique your own prep will play a very important role in, in acing this bench test. I have a video up already how to critique your own crown preps. So I'll put that link in the description below and somewhere up here as well. In our next video, we'll go into detail about uh, filling the forms together and knowing more about the individual steps. You also want to do your own research and make a spreadsheet of school based on their requirements, their deadlines. And you want to do this after you give your IMBDE and TOEFL so that you have some time and you do not waste any time before CAPIT. And once you apply on CAPIT, you know you are better prepared which schools you want to apply for. My advice is be relaxed, but be consistent. Hard work and persistence really pays off in this process. If you have any questions, please leave me a comment. Follow me on Instagram, DM me. I'll be happy to answer any questions to the best of my abilities. Good luck and bye-bye. Have a great day, you guys. Bye.